This is installation for the Box Crash Manufacturing Velocity Stacks made of carbon fiber and polycarbonate. Once you've got your air box open, you'll need to remove your OE rubber velocity stacks because you'll want to cut these down flush up against the up against this ridge right here. You'll want to cut right here flush against this the top of this ridge here. What you can use, um, you could use a really sharp box cutter, but what I used is a coping saw or a hacksaw, but I used a coping saw and you can just get in there and it's a real controlled cut, nice and easy all the way around, cut it all the way around. Once you've cut those down, you should have what looks like this, nice and flush. You want to get it as flush as you can right to there. I just left a little bit of a ridge or lip, if you will. But you want to cut that flush and then smooth it out. You can use a file, sandpaper, whatever. Um, I actually used the wire wheel on my bench grinder over there and was really careful with it. But once you get that all down and smooth and somewhat flush and flat, you'll need to open up the air box wider because when you insert the velocity stacks they expand out inside here so we need to open this up a little better so we want to open that up circle nice and easy i used what's called a roto zip bit it's like a, a router bit for my dremel looks like a bit a drill bit but it's got a slightly different um groove cut to it sorry the focus sucks on this but kind of get the idea well dang it sorry about that well anyway i cut it up i cut them or open this up keep moving in a circular motion keep working around it slowly removing a little at a time don't stay in one spot wallering it out and getting a nice gouge down in there having a real weird oval shape just try and stay nice and circle keep removing it and you want to remove enough that the go, no go gauge, which is this part right here, this lip here is the go, no go gauge right here, this lip. Once that fits through cleanly and it doesn't take a lot of resistance, it's not really grabbing it. Once it fits through fairly cleanly, you can see some of the gaps. I could open this one up a little bit more. You want to open it up circumference so it fits through. You can see probably there I could open it up a little bit more because you can't see light through there real well. Um, maybe a few other spots. But once this fits through, all the way through fairly cleanly, but not too big of a gap, so remove just a little bit at a time until it fits through all the way through in both of these. Once this go, no go gauge, this ridge fits through there all the way through without too much resistance, if any, but not too big of a gap. We don't wanna to see too much light through there. Once it fits through, you'll put your boot back in, which is a little, sorry, your, uh, not your boot, your OE velocity stack that has been cut down. You'll put that back in there and the stack will fit in there like this. Not in there, it expands fairly easy to, to get in there. Okay. See, it goes in there, but it has to expand. So that's why we open this up to put this back in. What I do is feed it through the bottom. You have to push it and shove it and kind of jam it in there, if you will. It's got a, a push deform it till it's all been pushed through once it's been pushed through similar to this then you can start walking it it's nice if there's a enough of it through that you got a, a lip over the edge 
there's not one on this time this time which kind of stinks so what you have to do is you have to pull it up there see how we got a lip there and then get underneath it and just start to walk it see now we got more just keep walking it all the way around like that once you've pulled it all around like that got it all like that see it's just like that you can then just turn it and line it up then you'll put your velocity stack in kind of down like this first and then twist and push and once it it was in there enough that it's in there all the way around. Then you can just push and twist it down. See, push and twist. And then just kind of push on all, all sides. It should be flush all the way around. You can flip it over and twist it enough. Now you also want to open up your air box like this and pull out those OEM rubber snorkels. You want to open it up like this. Something else to note is when you open this air box up with the roto zip or your Dremel bit or whatever you're using, you know, the, the sand bit, the bit that has the sandpaper on it, the round bit, you can use that too. It's just a little messy. Remove the air filter, remove everything. I used an air compressor with a blow nozzle to blow all of these plastic shavings which you can kind of see maybe all over this thing there's plastic shavings all over it but once you've stupid autofocus once you've done that you have to blow it out real good you could even use a hose and a spray nozzle and clean it out real good and Dry it out and get all the, the plastic shavings out of there so none of it gets sucked into the throttle bodies and engines, engine, engines, <laughs> um, cylinders. Once you've got it all cleaned out, let it dry real good and then you can assemble it back together and install the box crash manufactured um, velocity stacks. Additionally, I sell the complete air box already modified, all cut out, modified with the stacks installed, everything done, the boots cut down. Everything done, I sell that whole unit and we'll ship you the whole thing. All closed up, buttoned up with the air filter in it. And all you have to do is install it on the bike. Now, you can get money back if you send back your OE unmolested, unmodified air box. I will give you a core fee back. Uh, I'll give you a certain amount of money back if you ship me yours for an exchange um, as a core a core return if you will kind of like they do with auto parts with starters and alternators so that's one way to do it and you can have the complete unit thank you